Hi everyone. Uh, today we will uh, learn about Fibonacci series straddle or iron fly. So uh, let let's first begin with what is Fibonacci. So Fibonacci is a series of numbers. Uh, it's it's like a, uh, it start with zero, one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen. So uh, uh, you can uh, understand the pattern. It adds up the uh, last number with uh, with itself and produces the next number, right? So how we are going to uh, apply this series? So basically, we will be starting with a uh, straddle. Let's start with straddle. We will talk about iron fly afterwards. So uh, first of all, we will start like if we start with one lot of straddle, right? And when when the market moves moves outside the straddle. We will again create a straddle with uh, the number of lots which is next in the series, right? So the next number would be of suppose the market moves this way, so we would be creating a straddle with two lots, right? Similarly, if if the market goes outside the boundary of this straddle, then again we will create a straddle with number of lots in the in the next in the series, which is three. Same way, if if so if if the market remains within this uh, boundary we will not do any kind of adjustment we will not create any kind of straddle right so if, if it crosses either this point or this point right then we, we will create another straddle with the next number of series with the number of lots suppose the market moves to downside and it crosses this uh, barrier then we will create an another straddle with number of lots equals to 5 which is the next number in the Fibonacci series right so uh, this is an experimental strategy which I'm gonna use uh, first first of all let me uh, tell you this is not for beginners because uh, we do not have uh, like uh, how many adjustments we need to do so it, it, it is a bit capital intensive uh, strategy so uh, first of all we will understand like what is the barrier like is it we have to uh, do it right now or uh, just as it crosses the graph or we have certain uh, you know uh, gap uh, to which we can sustain and then we will create it so for nifty i would suggest if we have like uh, uh, we have uh, deployed a straddle at the money so if the market moves 100 points either side we will create another straddle for the adjustment with number of lots according to our Fibonacci series right same way if we go for bank nifty and we create a straddle at the money so our range would be of 300 points <coughs> since uh, bank nifty <coughs> uh, has has huge number of uh, premium as compared to nifty and the movement is also large so as per my uh, experiment uh, I found that 300 is the, is the sweet spot where we can adjust our straddle okay so if the market moves 300 points either way in bank nifty we will do adjustment by creating another straddle with number of lots equals to Fibonacci series right and uh, <clears throat> about iron fly here we are going to apply iron fly strategy only for margin benefit and nothing else since it is a capital intensive strategy by buying our break evens and creating an iron fly we will uh, efficiently reduce our capital requirement for creating a straddle right so uh, uh, but i'll make you understand uh, uh, from the point of view of straddle because it it would be easy to understand and easy to explain so uh, first of all uh, let me walk through you like when we should create this strategy when we should exit this strategy so uh, since it requires a uh, number of adjustments and if it goes uh, uh, more in numbers uh, it would be more capital intensive it would be more uncertain so it is basically suitable for a weekly expiry and uh, so we can start on friday and uh, we can start on friday anywhere between 12 to 2 pm and we can exit the next week expiry at thursday right see the basic logic behind this is that 
if we do a bi-weekly or a monthly strategy the number of adjustment required will increase and according to that the number of uh, the amount of capital that is required will also increase so we are trying to keep in a, a, a range that is more comfortable for us okay so let me uh, go to stock mark so that we can you know simulate this strategy so that we can understand it in a better way so uh, the capital that i am going to deploy we will have a limit of around 18 to 20 lakhs okay and uh, what i have found basically for a week uh, i need to do uh, at least like three to four adjustments which is more uh, in in line with the amount of capital required uh, which is 18 to 20 lakhs okay so we will go to any random friday uh, suppose in last month okay we'll go for 5 fifths of may right i'll create the straddle after 11 11 pm sorry am and uh, i'll prefer nifty now the only reason for nifty is that nifty is less volatile than bank nifty so we need uh, uh, index which is volatile but which can be captured with our strategy sometimes bank nifty goes through like 800 to 1000 points in a day in that scenario we cannot adjust our strategy and most of the time we might go into losses right so we will start with nifty okay so we will start with one lot at the money straddle okay and uh, we will move with two hours of time frame now uh, we need to understand that we do not have to you know keep tracking and uh, looking at the charts and uh, you know keep on looking where the market is going every time every 15 minutes or 5 minutes because every time we do this we have we get this urge to readjust our straddle and th in this strategy we cannot do any kind of over trade over adjustment okay margin is around 1.26 lakhs for a straddle but if we buy call and put options on both the sides creating an iron fly the estimated margin will drastically reduce to around 50 to 55000 okay you can see the max profit is 8000 uh, probability of profit is 57% for this straddle so okay now here you can see this is this is the option chain this is the atm where we have created our straddle now if it reaches this 100 points minus 100 points or plus 100 points then we will do a uh, adjustment by creating another straddle with number of lots according to our fibonacci number or series okay so we have started with one uh, lot right see so the market has moved upwards oh uh, sorry the market have moved downwards sorry and uh, see that the difference is of 100 points right now atm is here and our straddle was here see it is atm plus 100 so we need to create another straddle here at the money with number of lots equals to 2 right the next number in the series okay see our capital is increasing our max profit is increasing okay see uh Till the market remains within this in within these straddle, we do not need to do anything. Whenever it crosses our straddle and you know it goes beyond hundred points, we will do adjustment. Okay, so again market uh, now the market moved up and uh, it has crossed our barrier. See, it is it is hundred points, right? So we will create another straddle. with number of lots equals to 3 2 plus 1 is 3 ok now the capital requirement is of 7.5 lakhs ok the max profit has not increased that much because the more far we are from our uh, basic straddle that we had created the base straddle we had created the profits are not going to increase that much but our range would increase the break events will increase you can keep checking these break events whenever i do an adjustment okay <coughs> so
so we'll again move to ours to today's tuesday and again the market has moved upwards the difference is of 100 points again we will ad adjust our strategy we will create a straddle now the number of lots required is 3 plus 2 equals to 5 the next fibonacci number now we need to understand the significance of fibonacci number the golden ratio the ratio of, of the series the consecutive numbers is called golden ratio which is used widely in different fields in science in architecture in in modeling in design in finance in derivatives you know like when you do a technical analysis there is fibonacci retracing and all so this is totally based on these series and the ratios it is it is uh, called like uh, the nature is built up around these ratios so again we are moving so the market came in between our graph and uh, you can see our, our break events have moved our profit max profit uh, has increased our margin has increased it is still within our range uh, if we do a iron fly uh, this margin would be almost half of this and uh, the max profit would reduce by maybe it would be around 25 26000 which is now 30000 so you can see this is this is our straddle on option chain till then this market is within our range we will not do anything you can see our probability of profit is increasing see we ha uh, we have started to uh, gain profits okay this thursday it is 10 o'clock see it is expired it is already two o'clock we can still book our profits uh we are getting around 1.1 percent of our capital deployed i think that is enough in our market condition which is now because earlier i used to say like we can aim for profits of around 1.5 to 2 percent but now the wix has gone down drastically the premiums are very low that's why our profits are uh, have reduced so optimal uh, profit would be around one percent if we can even book at 0.75 percent right now so uh, because wix is very low it's around 10 or 11 percent right now so i will i will go for three till three o'clock i definitely i would uh, book my profits at this point of time because it is expiry and uh, there will be volatilities uh, at the end of the day so let's let's go through the day see our profit have increased to 2% at 320 it has reached the peak profit it is around 27869 so I think this is enough we can wait but I would suggest book around 2 to 2.30 o'clock because uh, after 2.30 big moves come on Thursdays on expiry days and we are not going to take that much of risk because this is a naked straddle we do not have any hedging around this right and uh, on days when there are like uh, six sigma events or black swan events it would be very risky we, we can lose so much of our capital right but that would happen only like five to ten percent of the time so it's better we hedge our straddle with by making by converting it into iron fly right so this is how we can earn profits the capital deployed is here it is still 13.97 lakhs while using straddle i would suggest go for iron fly do uh, you have to do more adjustment because you have to uh, every time you do adjustment you have to purchase uh, your break events or uh, more out of money delta call and put options as well so it would require a bit time uh, the uh, the graph will become a bit complex but with practice you can do this and one more thing what what i have observed like it is easy to do on simulator because we are not watching market we are not influenced by news charts and all so we are not doing any kind of over adjustment but i myself have like uh, observed like when i i had deployed this strategy on live market and it, it is our basic nature that we used to go with the charts where it is going where, what are, what are the trends what are the option chains saying what are the open interests saying and for that reason we are doing over adjustments due to that we are going to lose this strategy right so uh, i'll go for one more uh, 
uh, simulation i'll clear this up we'll go through some random date you can you can you can simulate on some random date i have observed 90 percent of the time it works uh, let me show you actually i have uh, done some simulations of fibonacci weekly this is for bank nifty okay this is not the one straddle straddle atm coin yeah this one see look at this uh, i have done for i think for last one year one one and like 14 months maybe 57 trades are there you can see the win percentage is around 81 percent the loss was of 19 percent max drawdown was around 1 lakh and uh, max profit is around 96,000 average profit is 35,000 so 81 percent of the time I'll win and get get a profit around 35,000 and when I lose which is 19 or 20 percent of the time I lose 43,000 right on an average so you can see how efficient this strategy is how stable profits are being made on this strategy now you can understand like how big players who have unlimited amount of capital what they can do with these strategies and I'm talking about this just this strategy which I uh, developed they might have many other different strategy which are more capital intensive which we do not know as a retailer but which can make continuous profit which, which, which can churn multiple profits with stability because they have unlimited capital they can do anything right okay so I'll do one more simulation mm. let's go to april yeah april is good we will go to 21st okay this is friday i'll go for 11 o'clock around 11 o'clock i'll deploy a straddle okay <coughs> okay let's go for an iron fly because uh, let's also you know let's make you comfortable with iron fly as well so what i do normally because i'm not hedging this strategy so i'll just buy for margin benefit so uh, in both the cases in nifty as well as in bank nifty uh, you can buy the five delta put as well as call option see yeah this is the call option okay now you can see what is the estimated margin it is around 55,000 right see it is around 50 and if we remove this this is around 1.19 lakhs and max profit was the difference was around 400 uh, rupees I think so it's it's okay see you can see yeah around 500 or 600 points so we'll go with this strategy now i always i started this strategy with bank nifty but i found bank nifty to be very volatile and i was already over trading over adjusting in live market so now i have switched to nifty the profits are a bit low as compared to bank nifty but it is stable we can go with this as a beginner anybody should uh, opt for nifty with this strategy okay so we will uh, go for two hour time frame okay you can do any any uh, random uh, date you can pick any random friday and do this strategy i would suggest so right now market is not that volatile we are still in the 50 uh, points zone so we will not do any kind of adjustment okay so we have crossed around 150 the market moved upwards and the difference is around 150 points it, and it is on monday 306 right so we will create another straddle with number of lots equal to two okay so you can see like uh, if, if we created uh with if we created uh, a straddle with three lots and uh, at the same uh, at the same point the profit would have been around the max prof profit would have been around 24000 because for one lot it was around 8000 something right but you can see as we move through the chart we are the gap is more it is of 150 points so the max profit did not increase that much the more closer the straddles are the more max profit we can attain right so again we will move forward okay we have to buy our uh, uh, we have to buy our hedges as well right i'll just increase this hedge to three okay right see the estimated margin is still 1.80 so we will go with two hour time frame 
now you can just ignore this buying part okay we have to focus on the selling part only so till when our market is within this range we will not do anything okay okay again the market is moving mm -hmm. now you can see whenever the market two couple of times the market moved 50 points upward then again came 50 points downward now if, if we were in live market and we were watching this we might be uh, you know tempted to do another adjustment right sometimes it's profit profitable but sometimes we use our core strength our strategy right okay so the market has moved around 100 points we'll do an adjustment now on thursday the premiums are very low it is 10 o'clock the premiums will be very low you can also increase the Fibonacci number to some one or two extra points because you, the premiums would not be sufficient enough to cover the losses that, of previous straddles. So I'm just going to let me see. See, okay, for selling three three lots when we are selling, see the max profit has reduced because it is far from the base straddle. Okay, so it has reduced, right? Now, if we increase these lots, what will happen? The graph will be more peaked at this point, right? Graph will be more peaked at this point, but the profits at these points will be lesser. Now, how far is this? This is around around 100 points far. The market can move 100 points in either direction in a day, right? So, I'm not going to do anything. Let's wait and watch. Okay. So again the market have moved upwards now what i would suggest since it is already two o'clock i don't believe the market could move that much and not that much of uh, premiums are left market is at 869 right we can sell the very next which is our 50 points 7900 straddle okay and with number of lots equals to five on thursday we might need to do more adjustments because premiums are very less the number of lots required is also higher i'll do the hedging part we have five three eight ten eleven so this would be around eleven lots So it, it, it is not beneficial the max profit is zero uh, what we can do we can increase it to next uh, eight okay so since it, it is just close to expire it is already to 30 to around three o'clock so we met a loss of seven thousand okay this is was this was not the best case scenario for us but still we were able to manage it the losses are not that much it is still within our range of one is to one the loss is around 0.7 percent right okay i'll do one thing i'll uh, do one more simulation with bank nifty okay clear this up uh, let's start with uh, bank nifty uh, I'll, I'll go with some other month okay march is good uh, let's go for maybe 17 yeah mm, i'll deploy the straddle at around 11 o'clock now in bank nifty we have uh, a range of 300 points after which we need to do the adjustment and create another straddle uh, using the fibonacci series number so let's move forward with the time frame uh, let me remind you can also buy the hedges to reduce the estimated margin right now you can see the max profit is uh, uh, you can see the max profits are huge as compared to bank uh, as compared to nifty and uh, during march the ivs were high it is around 21.1 wix was high so the premiums are already high you can see the at the many premiums are around 379 and uh, right now in june the wicks are very low and I think the premiums would be around 200 
points or add the money in bank nifty so let's proceed further so basically when we start it, it's a normal basic strategy and if it is giving profits uh, within our range which is around one percent we can book and you know uh, continue to deploy another strategy and it is more advisable that you book before thursday because it is more uh, you know certain because on thursday uh, the strategy becomes more complex the premiums are low we have to do more adjustments and there are more volatilities and after 2 or 230 it becomes more intensive so uh, make sure if if you are profitable before thursday it is always advisable to book it then and there and if you have to move to thursday make sure you do it before two o'clock okay so the difference is around 200 points i'll not do any kind of adjustment right now so you can see the profits are around 0.7 percent and before it was around one percent we could have booked there and then again deploy a new strategy as well the market is in our straddle, straddle range uh, so we can see that the difference is now around 400 points it is Tuesday so do the adjustment create a straddle at the money uh, the number of plots would be 2 the next number in the series now understand the more far we go from our base straddle the profits the max profits would not increase that much if you can remember the for one lot it was around 35 38000 uh, for the next for the next straddle we have created the profit had just increased by 5000 right now again uh, even after creating the straddle the market has moved upwards the difference is more than 300 points now we are going to create another straddle at this point to understand if the market goes in a straight line and keeps on moving forward or backward uh, this strategy won't work that efficiently because we need a pullback right so you can see that from the initial point the market moved in a straight line right from 39100 it moved to 39900 around 800 points now definitely it, it cannot go in a straight line it has to give a pullback and when this pullback comes it will make it profitable okay that is the edge in this strategy right so we will move forward okay This Tuesday and stay again the profits are coming the market is still moving forward now it gave a bit pullback you can see the profits are around 0.8 percent we can book here it is still Wednesday it is 2 up to 30 right we can book here it is more advisable to book right here because we don't we do not know what will happen on expiry day right if, if the market moves more three or five five hundred points further we need to do more adjustment the number of lots will increase the num uh, the amount of capital will increase we do not know uh, how uh, how much the premium would be we need we may we might have to uh, increase the number of lots we need to do the adjustment okay but uh, i'll go uh, till thursday uh, for you guys okay see the market uh, still is there and the theta decay has gave us around 20,000 it's around 2% you can still book here but I'll continue till the end of the day the gap is of around 200 points it is 12 o'clock the premiums are very less you can see at the money premiums are around 100 okay so you can see the market again retraced back gave a pullback profits are around 3.8% around 38,000 on a capital of 10 lakhs now understand if we had um, uh, bought the puts and call for hedging this strategy the margin would have been maybe around five six lakhs right and the profit percentage would have been higher right so it is 220 i'll just continue till three o'clock see as i said the market gave a pullback it came down to 39800 in our optimal range the highest profit which is 51,000 we can wait okay so uh, it, it, it has achieved our max profit of 53,000 right 
so here we can close our strategy book the profit but still it, it was a, a good scenario for us that it gave a pull back but we do not know that right every time it won't happen so when it was giving a profit of 1% on wednesday we should have booked that profit deploy a new strategy you know live live for another day right don't lose your capital don't risk your capital just for higher profits right so here we can uh, close our strategy i understand uh, this is experimental strategy i have uh, deployed it like three or four times in a live market and was profitable like 50% of the time i'm still uh, about to uh, do a continuous deployment of this strategy right i have simulated this strategy uh, since 2021 and it is profitable but uh, the market scenarios have changed the premiums are less so if if the premiums are less in the market then we have to wait more for theta decay and the longer we have to wait the the more adjustment we might have to do and the more adjustment we need the more capital is required right so thank you guys uh just do uh, do random tests on this strategy okay uh, do at your own risk and after proper number of simulation and practicing you can go in the live market and deploy this strategy thank you